Power BI. Okay. I want you to download and install Power BI. I will show you how to do that. So it's very simple. Open Chrome or the whatever the browser you have. One second, it's loading still. Okay, now open the browser and you can search Power BI uh, standalone installer. Okay. Or offline installer power bi offline installer okay i'm searching for power bi on offline installer i got this power bi link here and one second let it load now i should have the link because when you're downloading the power bi reporting tool okay when you're downloading the power bi reporting tool the problem is that it will navigate you to the store okay what it will say is it will navigate you to the store microsoft store but unfortunately unfortunately in server you don't have the micro store itself so how can you download it okay so whatever we will do is we will download the offline installer we will download the offline installer from here okay click on the download button i have the x64 pc you can select this click on the next and it will download power bi for you you can see it here okay and i think already i have the power bi with me one second let me check is it installed or not okay it's already there but i will show you how to install don't worry okay let it download the next step now select this and you can see the english here select next click on the yes button it will install the power bi desktop for you okay please download this and then install power bi okay please remember okay for me it's already installed but for you i want you to install this so after installing this the next step would be setting up power bi how to set up power bi okay uh, there should be a URL called dev dot dot com slash apps. This should be the one. Now you can see here it is asking whether you want to sign into the Power BI or you want to sign up. Okay, if you have the account, you can sign in. You can sign in with your uh, what is called this on Microsoft account. So you can directly use the on Microsoft account and you can sign in. Now you can see this is my password which is already there click on the sign in button okay oh it says we have sent a notification to your mobile device just to give me a second five percent Okay, build got completed successfully. Now let me refresh this back again and we will see it. Okay, one second, still starting. Oh, it says we are having trouble with your account. Oh, really, this goes crazy. Oh, 
One second, yeah. I'm waiting for the quote. It says it has sent the phone code, but I did not receive it. What should be done? Hmm. It's really not a good thing for this. Okay, good that I got at least call. What I need to do now? <laughs> it's very bad. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me authenticate this later on. Huh? Let me finish this and then I will authenticate. Just a second. Bank management system, table of contents. Now you can see here primitive one, primitive two. Okay. And then you have the tap page control to tap page control, which does not have anything. This is how we are going to work with the table of contents. Okay. Now actually I have the date here. Let me type something in tab. Can you see this? This is this is not written by me. It's an automatic validation from the system. And similarly, in the in 64. Let me try it. It's also an automatic validation. Let me try to enter numbers. Can you see this? This is also your automatic validation. So this is how the validations are already implemented. There is no need of, for us to implement the validation. And all these are unbound controls. They are not bound to the database. Okay. They are not bound to the database. And this is how a table of contents will look like. Okay. Yeah, now it's your time. Please let me know if you have any queries. In the meantime, I will try to authenticate this. Any questions? Hey, it simply calls and says call ended here. Yeah? Don't know what is going on with this one. And even I am not getting the SMS as well. Uh, seems like some issue from there and only. Okay, let me do one thing. I will try again after some time and then I will set it up. But uh, here uh, I will show you how to set it up tomorrow. Okay, because uh, I am not getting these calls or uh, it is not responding from the Microsoft end itself. Okay, don't know what's the exact reason. Might be issue with my account as well. I will have a look at it. Okay, now it's your time. Please let me know if you have any queries. Yeah, uh, uh, when we uh, use hub part. Hub part we will use when we are working with workspaces. Okay. Or if you want to show some read only data to the user. OK, so can we give there a hyperlink like the, we provided a, using a default action button? Yes, you can do that. OK. OK, at last it got signed in. But at the end, it said something went wrong. Try again later. Okay, let me try again back. Okay, there was a problem signing in. It's really okay. This is how it looks like. And once you will get to this screen, now nah, the next step would be registration. Okay, this is what actually I want to show you. But unfortunately, it took this much amount of time. Okay, now you can see it is expecting the application name, application type. Home page URL, redirect URL. Okay, so how to set this up? By default, by default, whenever you go to this front end, you will have system administration module. In this, you are going to have powerbi.com configuration. Okay, powerbi.com configuration. Here we need to set up. Okay, 
I need to edit this because this is the old account one. Now I am adding a new account. Okay. So let me change it. I will show you how to do that. Open SQL. And then there is a table called Power BI Configuration. What is the table name? There is a table called Power BI Configuration. So unfortunately, everyone left, but actually it got connected. Yeah, let me just, uh, set it up. That would be an easier thing. It's going to take a fraction of a minute or two, not more than that. Because when we are discussing with workspaces, I want to show you how to add this Power BI tiles, which is why I am showing you this one. Okay. You will know how to integrate with Power BI and Dynamics X. Click on Connect. It will connect, and then select New Query. We will have a table called Power BI Configuration. What is the table name? Power BI Configuration. Select the star from Power BI Configuration. Run. Okay, good. I think Power BI Config, this is the one. Now, in this, you have this redirect URL. Simply copy the URL as is and then paste it in the redirect URL. Okay. By default, if you don't get this, don't worry. You need to simply click on the. Okay, here you will have the option edit. Click on edit and then save. You will get it. Okay. Remember, and you need to enable this. The next step would be Power BI homepage URL. I will say www.acceptaschool.com or whatever it can be. And then display name, I will say D365. November 2020 done. So once you're done, you can select all if you want to try everything. Please remember you will get a trial. If you want to subscribe for the trial, you can subscribe it and then click on register button. What is missing? Oh, okay. Okay, register. It will register and then provide the application ID. Select this and you can paste it over here and the second one is application key copy and you can paste it over here and then click on the save button you are done okay actually after saving this data here in the options you need to authorize you can see open report catalog dashboard catalog now you will get these options but by default it will be empty now because we don't have anything and you need to authorize click on that option click here to provide the authorization and then you can see all the permissions are requested consent and then accept so once you accept you are done the power bi configuration is completed so once the power bi configuration is completed you can close this okay it said successful now you can just refresh your page now you can see the power bi but actually here there is a tile but it does not have anything don't worry because uh, this is the previous tile that i have connected we will create a new tile no worries and to do that go to options you have a tile catalog open tile catalog if there are any tiles, it will open. Okay. Oh, it is throwing the error here. Good. It is saying we will see how to solve this error. Don't worry. I will show you. You know what is the reason for this error? Because this is connected to the previous one from where I am getting this error. I will show you. I will show you how to solve this. You need to simply create one new dashboard. You need to simply create one dashboard and you need to attach that. The error will be solved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you need to integrate. Please finish off this integration. It is very, very important. Okay. Now it's your yeah. time. Please let me know if you have any queries.